My name is Dr John Anderson and I'm a lecturer in Human Geography here in the School of City and Regional Planning at Cardiff University. And this is a short podcast to outline some of my teaching and research interests here in the school. As I said, I lecture in Human Geography and Human Geography is the part of the fundamental building blocks of my interest in the world. And human Geography is often seen to be uh, an abstract discipline kind of trivial pursuit orientated discipline so you know the capital of Iceland for Christmas games that you play with your family and um, you know capitals of European cities or the river that, rivers that run through America and this version of human geography is kind of almost what uh, Peter Jackson calls the vocabulary of geography and it's how it's popularly understood but for me this doesn't get at the what's the fundamentals of human geography and the things that really interest me Holloway and Hubbard called human geography an interest in the relationship between people and place. And for me, this kind of sums up what human geography is really about. First of all, it's really interested in people. The different ages, the different cultures, the different abilities, the disabilities, the ethnicities, the religions, the different human variety that's made up within society and the way in which these human beings take and make the world around them. The way in which they build certain buildings put statues up to certain members of the public that create different forms of graffiti that hold to our range of festivals and carnivals that make the world in which we live. So human geography is really interested in people, but it's also really interested in places, the places that these groups in society take and make to forward their cultural preferences, to create the world in their own image, to have new visions of brave new worlds, and they build those worlds and the, what they want, want those worlds to be like. So human geography is about people, but it's also about places. And as Holloway and Hubbard tells us, it's about people and places. The emphasis on the and is as crucially important as the emphasis on the other component parts. For me, people are always joined to places. The and is fundamentally important. There are certain places where we feel we belong. There are certain places we feel within our natural conditions where we feel as if we're at home, that we feel patriotic towards in terms of uh, the national scale, for example. Places where we feel as if we'd like to campaign for them, to preserve them, to conserve them. We might even fight for them, we might even go to wars for them. So humans are spatial beings from a human geographical point of view. We are in and of place. Places have a fundamental component of who we are and what we do. And that grammar of geography, those theories, those notions about geography, those for me what make human geography interesting, rather than the simple vocabulary of what's the capital of Iceland for our Christmas games of trivial pursuit. So if that to me what human geography is about, uh, I've uh, been involved in a range of projects that seek to explore and deepen my interest in these areas. The first set of projects I've been involved in are around issues of culture, over what culture is, how different cultural groups take and make the places around them, in a whole manner of different ways. And this has produced a whole range of papers, but also fundamentally a book called Understanding Cultural Geography, Places and Traces, which was published by Routledge in 2010. Secondly, I've also done a lot of work on environmentalism and particularly environmental identity. How do humans connect to the non-human world? Through, in particular, uh, the non-human environment. How do those connections to the non-human world um, filter in and affect their identity, how they see who they are, and what political practices result as a consequence of that identity? What sort of radical actions do people get involved in, or what sort of everyday practices in terms of recycling do people get involved in? And again, I've produced a whole range of papers that can be found on the website in this area of environmentalism and environmental identity. Thirdly, I'm interested in notions of the rural, or the non-urban, particularly rural Wales, and how people join themselves to notions of the rural, why the rural is important for them, how, how rural communities can sustain themselves on the onslaught of development and um, globalisation. This interest in the rural has been driven by ESRC projects with colleagues in Aberystwyth and again has resulted um, in a whole range of publications not only uh, funded by the ESRC but also by the Wales Assembly Government. Fourthly, I'm also interested in 
human engagements with the non-human world, particularly nature, and in particular the watery worlds, uh, the seas and rivers, particularly through surfing. Surfing is a really uh, interesting topic to get involved in because it's uh, a really key illustration of the ways in which humans can have an unmediated uh, experience of the non-human world, of the wide, wild, open ocean. And the sort of feelings that these produce within human beings, the sort of emotional geographies that produce as a consequence of this, and a whole range of papers, again, can be found on the website that look into this area. Finally, I'm also interested in experimenting with and developing qualitative methods in order to get at these interesting relationships between people and place. I use a whole range of methods from ethnography to autobiography to autoethnography, semi-structured interviews, field diaries and increasingly digital media through taking photographs, documentaries and a whole range of audio slideshows and digital case studies in order that my students but also my own work can access these felt emotional and perceived connections between themselves and the world around them in their work. If you're interested in uh, finding out a little bit more about the work I've been involved with, I have a Cardiff University webpage, uh, but also uh, this is outlined on my own website, www.spatialmanifesto.com.